My kids hate this shirt. Actually, the older ones don't hate it. They think it's kind of cool because it's so old school. They still don't know what this pocket's for. I'm like, well, that way your cigarettes don't fall out when you're leaning over to get the ball, but they don't get it. It's old school. And I'm wearing it today for a reason, because now that we're sort of on the other side of a pandemic, there's a whole new skill set needed from pastors, and it's old school pastoring. I've called it hyper-local ministry. A friend of mine who's a pastor at a church said during the pandemic, William, I, I don't know if anyone's ever going to come back to church. I'm like, why? He said, well, now they figured out they can YouTube Steve Furtick, and they can podcast Matt Chandler, and they can find the best preaching in the world. Now, I'm not that good a preacher. Why are they going to come back? And I said, oh, oh, people are going to come back because you care about this community. So I think the future effectiveness of a pastor is going to be how well they know what's going on in their hyper-local context. Billy Graham used to say, I would do my sermons with a newspaper open on the table and a Bible open right next to it. And I think now's version is a version app with the Bible open right here and an iPad open to the most local version of Google News that you can find. Old school ministry. The effective pastor after the pandemic is going to be a shepherd that smells like sheep. The effective pastor after the pandemic is going to know what's going on in the six square blocks around his or her church. The effective pastor in the post-pandemic world is going to be the one who actually does hospital visits, who remembers people's name, who goes out in the lobby and does old school shoulder to shoulder ministry in a way that shows a priestly gift that's been out of value for too long and is coming back into value. It should encourage you quite a bit because really you don't have to be the best communicator in the world. You don't have to be the most smooth presenter. You can just love your people, love the context, and know what's going on. One time, many years ago, a mentor who's been very special to me for years, John Maxwell, he said to me, William, there is no sound sweeter to the human ear than someone hearing their name remembered. Get back to the old school. Maybe not cigarettes in its shirt pocket the old school of knowing and smelling like sheep, the old school of knowing names, the old school of being in and around your local parish, I think you're going to find it's a pretty cool thing to do. It's something anyone can get expert at, and it'll make you more effective than you can imagine.